Hi ladies! It's spring <laughs> for real this time. I um I I it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a little while. Um the only reason I came back is um first people requested that I tell them if these heat friendly fibers on Brighton held up. And you know, it's it's typical of any curly wig. You know, you get the nape that tangles sometimes, and then, you know, you've got the ends, and you just want to um, spray them with your wig conditioner. Uh, I've got a wig mist thing that I get off, of, I had got off Amazon a long time ago. And, um, of course, they have the Aesthetica Wig Mist, which is a good one, too. I'm almost out. I need to get some more. But you do that, and it seems to be holding up okay. Um, I'll turn around and show you. This is, the, this is my go-to wig now. I wear this almost all the time uh, for videos, for if I go to town, which I don't do very often, if I'm expecting a delivery, uh, anything, and I need to wear a wig, I will wear this one. Um, well, it's only one of like three wigs I own, so of course I will wear this one. But um, yeah, it's, it's been holding up pretty well. I, I think so. Um, You know these do tangle, so you have to always run your white tooth comb through them very carefully, and you know you spray the wig mist and the conditioner stuff on there. I uh, don't think I've w washed this yet, or have I? I can't remember if I washed this or not. Uh, so anyway, uh, she's holding up, I think, adequately. Uh, and now, of course, I don't wear her all day every day to work, so you know I can't tell you about that. Uh, also, I did say that my great wig chase was over, and pretty much it is. And I think I also told you what I would do if I was going to buy another wig. Well, I bought another wig. Guess what it is? It's this one. Uh, I even opened the box to show you there is a wig in here for sure. I'm not trying to, I don't ever probably pull something over on anybody. Yeah, um, I found another Brighton. On clearance there she is same girl same girl uh, so I have a backup now how about some help from my ladies here I uh, I've been really considering the wigs that I wear um, <clears throat> more in a different way because the way our lifestyle is, is we are homesteaders. I have a, I have acreage in the mountains. I have gardens. I have chickens. And I'm often outside working. And uh, I'm very hot natured to boot. And we're about to go into summer. Even though I lost a lot of weight um, over the last few years, I still get hot. I mean, I'm still hot natured. I was hoping that would be better, but no, not really. Not really. Um, so I'm pretty hot natured and I really, a lot of times I'll do a video and I'll go in the, in the house and rip the wig right off my head and just, you know, put it back on the stand. It's like, I can't do it and get my ball cap, right? If I want to go outside, I get my ball cap, one of my ball caps. Um, but I would like to go, I would like to find a shorter style. I did try Henry Margot Michelle. That was an absolute disaster. No matter what I did to her, I couldn't get the fibers to stand up off the cap. It was a hair helmet. And I don't know how reviewers have gotten the fibers to get off the cap because uh, it wasn't happening. I turned it upside down and sprayed it and let it dry and waited. And uh, I turned it right side up and two seconds, it's flat again. So that was a disaster. It wasn't at all what I thought it was going to be. And I've had the Flirting with Fashion by Raquel Welch. Boy, that thing has so much hair on the top. It was horrible. Mono, mono top, but it had so much hair. You'd think it had, it was a regular basic cat with all the permatease. Um, didn't like that one at all. But I'm looking at getting something, um, something shorter. And I have two examples to give you. Um, one is the Tressalure Shay, S-H-A-Y. Uh, the one reason is because it's, it's not heat-friendly fiber. Tressler is now mixing in their heat-friendly with their, with their uh, traditional synthetics. And I prefer the traditional synthetic colors because they have some non-rooted blondes in the traditional 
colors like Frosty Blonde HL. Beautiful color, very similar to this, this 1488 in Aesthetica. And they have, um, they have that, and I think they have a couple others. Um, even Envy has some non-rooted blondes like Ginger Cream and uh, Almond Breeze, which is a dark blonde. Um, so there are, there are some companies that have some non-rooted blondes in their non-heat-friendly fibers, which is my preference. This is a heat-friendly fiber. This is. Uh, this Brighton by Aesthetica. A lot, a lot of these companies are mixing in some heat friendly with their non heat friendly. Raquel Welch has gone almost uh, all her new stock is exclusively heat friendly. I don't like the fibers, they wear out in five minutes. And I, I don't care if you love Raquel Welch, I just don't. I mean, if that's fine, if that's what you like, fine. They have nice colors, but uh, non rooted blondes is what I want. I prefer non heat friendly if I can get it. That's a little harder than even the non rooted blondes um, these days. So, um, Tressalor Shea has a similar look. It's a shag. It's a short shag. Uh, also, there's a new one Tressalor has come out with. Unfortunately, it's their heat-friendly colors and the heat the fibers and the colors, and the colors don't have any ashy blondes that I can see in their heat-friendly. They have rooted blondes, and uh, I just don't care for the colors. They're warm. They're very warm blondes. I can wear a slightly warm blonde, but the Tress Allure Pixie Light, you know, believe it or not, I'm saying Pixie. To me, it's a it's a long, it's not really Pixie Pixie, to me it's longer. It has a lot more hair on the sides, and it has length in the back, and it seems like it's got, now, if you go by the stock photos, you would never know that. Tress Allure is famous for the, some of the worst stock photos in the industry. Terrible. The, um... Tressler Charlie, that stock photo looks like a classic hair helmet, and the wig is not. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. Something that is actually no more than a two and a half to three inch nape. I want to at least have a two inch nape because I need some coverage back there. But um, anyway, if you have some suggestions for me, as for pixies, they're not really quite pixies. Maybe they're longer than that because I can't stick. I gotta have hair around my ears. I can't have it where I got hair here and then it uncovers the ears and all that. I just, I need some hair, but I need it shorter. Now, I have looked at the um, Gia Mono from Envy, which actually, you know, they have the Gia and they have the Gia Mono, and the Gia Mono is cute. Um, I haven't had an Envy wig in a hot minute. Let me tell you. I had the NB Dakota, which was one of my only defective wigs, in, you know, of all time. But I had NB Dakota, and I've had NB Juliet. Now, NB Juliet is a short, shaggy style. However, the profile of that is so round, it just looked like I had a, a beach ball for a head. Um, I just couldn't deal with the profile of that one. So, if any of you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. But yes, I did. I haven't bought anything else except a backup Brighton. And all this time since I've been gone, like I said. Um, but leave some suggestions for some shorter pixie styles, maybe. And, and it'd be even a bonus if they don't have any. Uh, they do have some non-rooted blondes. Even blonde gray mix is okay, okay? Because I am going on 68 years old. Um, and, of course, uh, my I'm... I'm I'm don't going about my business in the morning and my husband is in there on Facebook and he goes, do you know some company called Hello Terry? I said, it's a scam wig company. I said, don't, before you tell me they got my picture, I can't do anything about it. Sure enough, they had a clip from my old crowd pleaser video, which has not been on my channel for two years probably. And it seems like that clip is circulating. And they were, their the catalog is full of stolen property. But, you know, I hate to say this, but if, if you don't research and you don't realize that you can't get a wig that looks like a goddess for $49.95, you don't realize that, you're going to be a victim of these people. And I've said it so many times, and I don't think anybody's listening. I mean, I even see reviewers reviewing from some of the, for some of the scam companies. It's like, y'all need to really look up these people. Um, don't, don't say you'll, enter, you, you'll review a wig to, for a free wig um, and not know who you're trying to represent because 
anybody who doesn't look up these companies and 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 doesn't do, at least do a minimum bit of research to see who they're being asked to represent um, they are playing a part in the victimization of women with hair loss just the same as the company is and I know that sounds harsh but it really doesn't take much to look through a company's online catalog and realize I know they don't have a right to use any of these pictures I know Cynthia's picture should not be there and it shouldn't be I have literally given one company permission and they asked me one company permission to use one video that I did I think it was it was continental wigs and they were amazing to me and over two purchases and um they asked if they could would, would they mind if i it, it, would would i mind if they um use my stellar review video and i said no absolutely not you've been m m wonderful so um yes you have my permission to use that video i don't know that they ever did i'm not sure they ever did even saw my answer to that but um the comment on the video itself so, um, if you see my picture anywhere, just know, it doesn't matter. I, I can't do anything about it. None of us can do anything about it. Even people have consulted lawyers about the theft, and the lawyers basically, yeah, they throw up their hands, you know. It's like, oh, we can't stop them. It's like whack-a-mole. One pops up somewhere, and you vanquish that one, and five others pop up somewhere else, all using the same clip that the first one stole from you. So, it's like they're passing it around, or maybe there's... 20 companies and they're really all the same company uh, but anyway you know so hello Terry is a scam company okay I just said it and if they they'll come on there and they'll threaten to sue you and they'll say you better not say that about us it's like all I gotta do is look at your catalog I can prove this I can prove this there's, there's your proof you have the proof against yourself right there online I don't have to worry about you suing me at all um, so anyway and it wasn't, it wasn't me they threw it in the suit. It was somebody. I don't know. I think they put out a general letter to all the people who've been, who've been talking about them or something on Instagram. Thought, you know, that's really, that's just kind of pathetic. It's pathetic. Most thieves are pretty pathetic. But anyway, um, y'all just come on. Somebody use some common sense. Please. I just hate seeing people being taken advantage of. But when you aid in your own victimization, that's a, that's a problem. Um, anyway, um, I just want to tell you that I, I have not chasing the wigs. The only thing I bought is backup for this one. Like I said, I was probably going to do. And I will be looking for a shorter style. It's not short, short. I need half to have some hair. But I don't want a lot of permatease. I don't want that. If anybody's got any suggestions over all the brands, let me know, okay? And uh, anyway, um, I thought I would leave you. I just... I really want to say, I kind of miss you guys. I just want to say hello. Um, but I'll leave you with a picture of my iris garden as it's coming along. And uh, happy spring, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. God bless everybody. Take care. Bye.